I'm thrilled to delve into a topic that holds a special place in my heart. Do you find yourself grappling with breaking through your limitations? Perhaps you feel like you're constantly hitting a wall, unable to reach your full potential. Well, my friends, you are not alone. I've encountered countless individuals facing the same challenge, feeling stuck in both their personal and professional lives. But fear not, because in today's message, I'm going to share with you five powerful ways to challenge yourself and break through those limitations. These are strategies I've personally employed, witnessing incredible results. And let me tell you, there's no greater feeling than breaking through a barrier and achieving something you once deemed impossible. So let's dive in. Starting with number five. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by practicing self-discipline and consistency. Now, I understand what some of you may be thinking. Self-discipline and consistency sound like hard work and sacrifice. And you're absolutely right. But let me pose a question. Are the rewards that come with breaking through your limitations worth the hard work and sacrifice? I firmly believe they are, and I'm here to illustrate why. First and foremost, let's define what self-discipline and consistency entail. Self-discipline is the ability to control your impulses and emotions, staying focused on what's important. It's about consciously deciding to do what needs to be done, even when you don't feel like it. Consistency, on the other hand, is the act of repeatedly doing something without fail. It's about establishing a habit and sticking to it day in and day out. Now why are self-discipline and consistency so crucial when it comes to challenging yourself and breaking through your limitations? Well, let me tell you, it all starts with your mindset. Your mindset is the foundation of everything you do in life. It's the lens through which you see the world and the filter through which you interpret your experiences. And if you have a weak mindset, you'll easily give in to your impulses and emotions, struggling to stay consistent. But if you have a strong mindset, one fueled by self-discipline and consistency, you'll have the mental strength to push through any challenge and break through your limitations. Self-discipline and consistency go hand in hand. When you have self-discipline, you're able to stay consistent. And when you're consistent, you're able to strengthen your self-discipline. It's a powerful cycle that leads to success. Now, I want to share with you three ways in which you can practice self-discipline and consistency to challenge yourself and break through your limitations. The first way is to set clear and specific goals. Without a clear goal in mind, it's easy to get sidetracked and lose focus. But when you have a specific goal, you have something to work towards, making it easier to stay disciplined and consistent. So take some time to think about what you want to achieve and set a specific goal that will push you out of your comfort zone. Remember, your goal should be challenging yet achievable. The second way is to create a plan and stick to it. Self-discipline and consistency aren't just about mental strength. They also involve having a plan and sticking to it. Create a plan that will help you reach your goal and commit to following it every single day. It may not be easy at first, but with time, it will become a habit, making it easier to stay consistent. The third way is to hold yourself accountable. It's easy to make excuses and justify why we didn't do something. But when you hold yourself accountable, you take ownership of your actions and results. Find someone who can hold you accountable, whether it's a friend, mentor, or coach. Share your goals and plan with them, and ask them to check in with you regularly. This will not only help you stay disciplined and consistent, but also provide you with the support and motivation you need to keep going. When you look back on your life, you don't want to have any regrets. You want to know that you gave it your all and challenged yourself to break through your limitations. And the only way to do that is by practicing self-discipline and consistency. Which leads us to number four. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by embracing failure and learning from it. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Failure is not something we want to embrace. It brings feelings of disappointment, frustration, and even shame. But I'm here to tell you that failure is not something to be feared. Rather, it's something to be embraced and learned from. You see, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of the journey. It's through failure that we learn, grow, and ultimately achieve our goals. Think about it. Every successful person you know has experienced failure at some point in their life. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Oprah Winfrey was fired from her first job as a TV anchor. And Walt Disney was told he lacked creativity and imagination. But did they let failure stop them? No, they used it as fuel to push themselves further and achieve their dreams. So, 
How can we embrace failure and use it to challenge ourselves and break through our limitations? The first step is to change our mindset. Instead of viewing failure as a negative, see it as an opportunity to learn and improve. As Thomas Edison once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Each failure brings us one step closer to success, as long as we're willing to learn from it. The next step is to take responsibility for our failures. It can be easy to blame others or make excuses for our shortcomings. But true growth and progress come from taking ownership of our mistakes. Success has many fathers, but failure is an orphan. Do not be afraid to take ownership of your failures, for it is through this accountability that we can truly learn and improve. Another way to embrace failure is to see it as a learning opportunity. When we fail, we're forced to reflect on what went wrong and how we can do better next time. This self-reflection is crucial for personal growth and development. So, instead of dwelling on the disappointment of failure, use it as a chance to evaluate your actions and make necessary adjustments for future success. Lastly, do not let failure define you. It's easy to get caught up in the idea that one failure means we are a failure, but this is simply not true. Failure is a temporary setback, not a permanent label. It's important to separate our self-worth from our failures and remember that we are capable of achieving great things despite our past mistakes. Which leads us to number three. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by surrounding yourself with people who inspire you. Your environment plays a crucial role in shaping who you are and what you can achieve, and the people you surround yourself with are a major part of that environment. When you surround yourself with people who inspire you, who are driven and motivated, it has a positive impact on your life. These individuals push you to be better, to think bigger, and to strive for more. They challenge you to break through your limitations and reach for your dreams. But let me be clear. Surrounding yourself with inspiring individuals does not mean you have to cut ties with everyone else. It simply means being intentional about the people you spend the most time with. It means choosing to surround yourself with those who uplift and motivate you, rather than bring you down. Now you may be thinking, how do I find these inspiring individuals? Well the truth is, they're all around you. They can be your friends, family members, colleagues, or even strangers you meet. The key is to be open to building relationships with those who inspire you. And once you find them, nurture those relationships and learn from them. One of my mentors, the late Earl Schaff, once said, You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I couldn't agree more. So ask yourself, are the people you spend the most time with helping you grow and reach your full potential? Are they challenging you to break through your limitations? If not, it may be time to reevaluate your circle and make some changes. Surrounding yourself with inspiring individuals not only helps you break through your limitations, but it also opens up new opportunities and perspectives. When you're around like-minded individuals who are striving for success, it creates a positive and supportive environment. In that environment, you have the freedom to dream big and think outside the box. But it's not just about surrounding yourself with successful individuals. It's about learning from them and implementing their habits and mindset into your own life. Take the time to observe and study the people who inspire you. What do they do differently? How do they handle challenges and setbacks? What motivates them? By learning from them, you can adopt their habits, mindset, and apply it to your own life. I also want to emphasize the importance of being a source of inspiration for others. Just as you are seeking out inspiring individuals, there are also people who are looking up to you. They see your drive and determination, and they are inspired by it. So use your influence to positively impact those around you. Share your knowledge and experiences, and be a source of motivation for others. Which leads us to number two. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by stepping out of your comfort zone. You see, the comfort zone is a dangerous place to be. It may feel safe and familiar, but it is also where dreams go to die. It's where we settle for mediocrity and let our fears and doubts hold us back from reaching our full potential. But I'm here to tell you that you are capable of so much more. You have within you the power to break through your limitations and achieve greatness. And it all starts with stepping out of your comfort zone. Now I'm not saying that it will be easy. In fact, it will be one of the most challenging things you will ever do. But let me ask you this my friends. What is the alternative? To stay in your comfort zone and live a life of regret. Wondering what could have been. Or to take a leap of faith and discover just how much you are truly capable of. 
I choose the latter, and I hope you will too. So how do we go about stepping out of our comfort zone? The first step is to identify what your comfort zone looks like. It could be a certain routine, a particular job, or even a relationship that no longer serves you. Once you have identified it, it is time to take action. The second step is to set a goal that is just outside of your comfort zone. Something that scares you, but also excites you. It could be running a marathon, starting your own business, or even just speaking in front of a crowd. Whatever it may be, make sure it is something that will push you to grow and challenge yourself. And finally, the most important step. Take action. This is where most people get stuck. They have identified their comfort zone, set a goal, but then they hesitate to take that first step. They let their fears and doubts hold them back. But fear is just an illusion. It is not real. It is simply a thought that we have given power to. And the only way to overcome it is by taking action. So take that first step, and then another, and another. Before you know it, you will have broken through your limitations and achieved what you once thought was impossible. Now I want to share with you a personal story. When I was just starting out in my career, I was terrified of public speaking. The thought of standing in front of a crowd and delivering a speech made me break out in a cold sweat. But I knew that if I wanted to achieve my goals and make an impact, I had to overcome this fear. So I started small. I joined a local Toastmasters club and practiced speaking in front of a small group. And then I gradually increased the size of the audience. It was not easy, but with each speech, I grew more confident and more comfortable stepping out of my comfort zone. And now, here I am, standing in front of all of you, delivering this speech. My friends, I am a living example of the power of stepping out of your comfort zone. And I can tell you from experience that the rewards are worth the risk. When we step out of our comfort zone, we open ourselves up to new opportunities, new experiences, and new levels of growth. Which leads us to number one. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations by setting specific and achievable goals. This may seem like a simple concept, but the truth is, many people struggle with setting goals and even more struggle with achieving them. But today, I want to share with you the power of goal setting and how it can transform your life. First and foremost, let's talk about the importance of setting specific goals. A goal without a specific target is like trying to hit a bullseye blindfolded. You may get close, but you will never hit the mark. Specific goals give you a clear direction and a clear destination. They allow you to focus your energy and efforts towards a specific outcome. So I challenge you to think about what you truly want in life. What is your ultimate goal? Write it down and make it as specific as possible. Next, let's talk about achievable goals. Many people make the mistake of setting unrealistic goals. And when they fail to achieve them, they get discouraged and give up. But the key is to set goals that are challenging yet achievable. You want to stretch yourself, but not to the point where you break. Remember, success is a journey, not a sprint. So set achievable goals that will push you out of your comfort zone and help you grow. Now setting goals is just the first step. The real challenge comes in achieving them. And this is where most people give up. They get overwhelmed by the obstacles and limitations that come their way. But I want to tell you that these challenges are not meant to stop you. They are meant to strengthen you. They are meant to make you better, stronger, and more resilient. When you set specific and achievable goals, you are essentially creating a roadmap for success. And just like any journey, there will be bumps on the road. But the key is to stay committed to your goals and to keep moving forward no matter what. Remember, success is not about avoiding challenges, it's about overcoming them. So how do you break through your limitations and achieve your goals? First, you must have a burning desire for success. You must want it more than anything else. This desire will fuel your motivation and determination to keep going when things get tough. Secondly, you must have a strong mindset. Your thoughts and beliefs are powerful. If you believe that you can achieve your goals, then you will. But if you doubt yourself and your abilities, then you are setting yourself up for failure. So cultivate a positive and resilient mindset that will help you overcome any obstacle. Lastly, you must take action. Goals without action are just dreams. You must be willing to put in the work, make sacrifices, and take risks. Success does not come easy, but it is worth it. So take consistent action towards your goals and never give up. I want to leave you with this quote by Zig Ziglar. If you aim at nothing, you will hit it every time. 
So I challenge you to set specific and achievable goals. Challenge yourself and break through your limitations. The power to transform your life is in your hands. Are you ready to take action and make your dreams a reality? I believe in you. Now it's time for you to believe in yourself. Thank you. In today's message, we're going to dive into the topic of goal setting and share with you some powerful strategies that will help you achieve your goals with ease. Now, I know that setting and achieving goals can sometimes feel like an uphill battle. We all have dreams and aspirations, but sometimes it can be overwhelming to figure out how to make them a reality. You may be feeling stuck, frustrated, or even defeated. But let me tell you, you are not alone. We all face challenges and obstacles on our journey toward success. However, the good news is that by listening to this message, you can turn things around and start making progress toward your goals. These five strategies have been tried and tested by myself and countless others, and I can assure you that they work. So whether you're struggling to set clear goals, lacking motivation, or not sure how to overcome setbacks, this video is for you. By the end of this, you'll have a clear roadmap on how to achieve your goals with ease. So let's get started and unlock your full potential. Starting with number five, which is achieving your goals easily by surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. Now you may be wondering, what exactly do I mean by like-minded individuals? Well, let me paint a picture for you. Imagine being on a ship sailing towards your destination. You have a clear vision of where you want to go, but you are surrounded by people who have no direction or purpose. They are simply drifting along, going wherever the wind takes them. How long do you think it will take for you to reach your destination? It will be a long and difficult journey filled with distractions, doubts, and setbacks. However, imagine being on that same ship, but this time you are surrounded by a crew of individuals who share your vision, who are driven and determined to reach the same destination as you. They are like-minded individuals, and together you are able to navigate through any storm and reach your destination in record time. This is the power of surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. They say that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you want to achieve your goals easily, it is essential to surround yourself with individuals who are already where you want to be, or who are on the same journey as you. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. You may be saying, but Jim, I don't have anyone like that in my life. I don't know anyone who shares my goals and aspirations. Well, my friends, let me tell you this. You don't have to physically know someone to be surrounded by like-minded individuals. In this digital age, we have access to a wealth of resources and communities that can connect us with individuals who share our goals and values. The key is to be intentional about the people you surround yourself with, both in person and online. Seek out individuals who inspire you, who challenge you, and who push you to be your best self. Join groups and communities that align with your goals and interests. Attend events and seminars where you can meet like-minded individuals and expand your network. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals not only helps you stay focused and motivated, but it also opens up opportunities for growth and learning. You can learn from their experiences, their mistakes, and their successes. And in turn, you can share your knowledge and insights with them. It's a win-win situation. But let me also address another concern that some of you may have. You may be thinking, but Jim, what if I am the most successful person in my circle? What if I am the one who is already where I want to be? My answer to that is simple. It's time to level up. It's time to find a new circle. A circle of individuals who are further along in their journey than you are. This will push you to strive for more and continue growing. Surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals also means surrounding yourself with positivity and support. We all know that achieving our goals is not an easy feat. There will be challenges, setbacks, and moments of self-doubt. But when you have a group of like-minded individuals by your side, they will lift you up, encourage you, and remind you of why you started in the first place. On the other hand, if you surround yourself with negative and unsupportive individuals, they will only drag you down and make it harder for you to achieve your goals. So be mindful of the company you keep and choose wisely. Which leads us to number four, achieving your goals easily by visualizing your success. Now you may be wondering, what does visualization have to do with achieving goals? The answer is simple, everything. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you turn your dreams into reality. 
It is the process of creating a mental image of what you want to achieve. And let me tell you, it is not just wishful thinking. It is a proven technique that has been used by successful people throughout history. You see our minds are incredibly powerful. They have the ability to create our reality. And when we visualize our success, we are training our minds to believe that we can achieve it. As the famous saying goes, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. So why not use our minds to our advantage and visualize our success? Now I want you to close your eyes for a moment and imagine yourself achieving your goal. See yourself standing on that stage, receiving that award, or signing that contract. Feel the emotions, the excitement, and the sense of accomplishment. The more vividly you can imagine it, the more real it becomes. This is the power of visualization. But visualization is not just about creating a mental image. It is about taking action towards your goal. You see, when you visualize your success, you are also creating a roadmap for yourself. You can see the steps you need to take, the obstacles you may face, and the solutions to overcome them. This clarity and focus can help you take the necessary actions to achieve your goals. Now, I want you to think about a time when you have achieved something in your life. It could be something big or small. Maybe it was getting a good grade in school, getting a promotion at work, or even learning a new skill. Think about the process you went through to achieve that success. Did you visualize it? Did you have a clear plan? I am willing to bet that you did. And that is why you were able to achieve it. But here's the thing. Most people only visualize their success once or twice and then forget about it. They get caught up in their daily routine and lose sight of their goals. And that is where they go wrong. You see, to achieve your goals easily, you need to make visualization a daily practice. Take a few minutes every day to visualize your success. See yourself taking the necessary actions, facing and overcoming any challenges, and ultimately achieving your goal. This will keep you motivated, focused, and on track toward your goal. Another important aspect of visualization is to surround yourself with positive images and reminders of your goal. Put up a vision board in your room or office with pictures, quotes, and affirmations that represent your goal. This will serve as a constant reminder of what you are working towards and keep you motivated. But visualization is not just limited to your mind. It also involves your actions. You need to act as if you have already achieved your goal. This is not about being delusional, but about having the mindset and behavior of someone who has achieved what you want. For example, if your goal is to become a successful entrepreneur, start dressing, talking, and acting like one. This will not only boost your confidence, but also attract opportunities and people who can help you achieve your goal. Now, I want to address a common misconception about visualization. Some people believe that if they just visualize their success, it will magically come true. But let me tell you, visualization is not a substitute for hard work. It is a tool that can help you achieve your goals, but it requires action on your part. You still need to put in the work, be persistent, and never give up. Which leads us to number three, achieving your goals easily by creating a plan and sticking to it. Now you may be wondering, what exactly does this mean? Well, let me break it down for you. Creating a plan means taking the time to sit down and map out exactly what you want to achieve. It means setting clear and specific goals, breaking them down into smaller actionable steps, and creating a timeline for when you want to achieve them. This may seem like a simple and obvious concept, but you would be surprised at how many people skip this crucial step. You see, without a plan, your goals are just mere dreams. They are floating around in your mind, but they have no direction or purpose. But when you take the time to create a plan, you are giving your goals a roadmap to success. You are giving yourself a clear path to follow, and that is powerful. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Now creating a plan is only half of the equation. The other half is sticking to it. This is where many people struggle. They may have a great plan in place, but when it comes time to take action, they falter. They give in to distractions, procrastination, and self-doubt. But let me tell you, my friends, sticking to your plan is what separates the successful from the unsuccessful. So how do you stick to your plan? The first step is to have a strong and compelling reason why you want to achieve your goals. This reason will be your driving force, your motivation to keep going when things get tough. Maybe you want to provide a better life for your family, or maybe you want to prove to yourself that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Whatever your reason may be, 
Make sure it is something that truly resonates with you. The second step is to eliminate distractions. In today's world, we are bombarded with distractions from every angle. Social media, television, and even our own thoughts can all pull us away from our goals. It is crucial to identify these distractions and find ways to eliminate or minimize them. This may mean turning off your phone while you work, setting specific times for checking social media, or finding a quiet place to work where you won't be disturbed. The third step is to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. Jim Rohn once said, You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. This means that the people you surround yourself with have a significant impact on your mindset, habits, and ultimately, your success. So make sure you are surrounding yourself with people who support and encourage your goals and who will hold you accountable when you start to stray from your plan. The fourth step is to track your progress. This is crucial because it allows you to see how far you have come and how much closer you are to achieving your goals. It also helps you identify any areas where you may need to make adjustments to your plan. Tracking your progress also gives you a sense of accomplishment and motivates you to keep going. And finally, the fifth step is to never give up. There will be obstacles and setbacks along the way, but that is all part of the journey. The key is to keep pushing forward even when it gets tough. Remember, success is not a straight line. It is a series of ups and downs. But if you stick to your plan and never give up, you will eventually reach your destination. Which leads us to number two, achieving your goals easily by breaking your goals into smaller tasks. Now you may be wondering, why is breaking our goals into smaller tasks so important? Well, let me tell you, it is the key to success. When we break our goals into smaller tasks, we are essentially creating a roadmap for our success. We are breaking down the big, intimidating goal into manageable and achievable tasks. Think of it this way. If you were to build a house, you wouldn't start by trying to build the entire house in one go. You would start with laying the foundation, then building the walls, and so on. Similarly, when it comes to achieving our goals, we must break them down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Breaking our goals into smaller tasks also helps us to stay focused and motivated. When we have a big goal in mind, it is easy to get overwhelmed and lose sight of the end goal. But when we have smaller tasks to focus on, we can see our progress and stay motivated to keep going. Let me give you an example. Let's say your goal is to lose 50 pounds in the next six months. Now that may seem like a daunting goal. But if you break it down into smaller tasks, such as losing two to three pounds per week, this may seem much more manageable and less intimidating. Another benefit of breaking our goals into smaller tasks is that it helps us to stay organized. When we have a clear plan of action, we know exactly what needs to be done and when. We can create a schedule and allocate time for each task, making sure we stay on track to achieve our goals. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, Breaking our goals into smaller tasks will only prolong the process. Why not just go all in and tackle the big goal head on? Well, let me tell you, that is a recipe for failure. When we try to do too much at once, we often burn out and give up. But by breaking our goals into smaller tasks, we are setting ourselves up for success. We are creating a sustainable plan that allows us to make progress consistently and ultimately achieve our goals. Now, I want to share with you some practical steps on how to break your goals into smaller tasks. Step 1. Start with the end goal in mind. What is it that you want to achieve? Be specific and write it down. Step 2. Break your goal down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Think about what needs to be done to achieve your end goal and write down each task, no matter how small it may seem. Step 3. Prioritize your tasks. Which tasks are the most important and will have the most impact on achieving your goal? Start with those tasks first. Step 4. Create a timeline. Set deadlines for each task and hold yourself accountable. This will help you stay on track and make steady progress. Step 5. Celebrate your victories. As you complete each task, take a moment to celebrate your progress. This will help you stay motivated and focused on the end goal. Remember, Breaking your goals into smaller tasks is not about taking the easy way out. It is about setting yourself up for success. It is about creating a clear and manageable path to achieve your goals. And most importantly, it is about making progress consistently and ultimately reaching your full potential. Which leads us to number one. Achieving your goals easily by setting specific and achievable goals. Now, 
You may be wondering, why is setting specific and achievable goals so important? The answer is simple. Without a clear and defined target, how can you expect to hit it? Imagine taking a road trip without a map or a destination in mind. You may end up driving aimlessly, wasting time and energy, and ultimately not reaching your desired location. The same goes for our goals. We must have a clear and specific target in mind if we want to achieve success. So the first step in achieving your goals easily is to set specific goals. This means being specific about what you want to achieve. It's not enough to say, I want to be successful, or I want to be rich. Those are vague and general statements that don't give you a clear direction. Instead, you must be specific and say, I want to earn $100,000 in the next year, or I want to start my own business within the next six months. By setting specific goals, you are giving yourself a clear target to aim for. But setting specific goals is not enough. We must also make sure that these goals are achievable. This means setting realistic and attainable goals. Now don't get me wrong. I am all for dreaming big and setting audacious goals. But if your goals are too far-fetched and unrealistic, you may end up feeling discouraged and giving up on them altogether. It's important to find a balance between challenging yourself and setting achievable goals. One way to ensure that your goals are achievable is by breaking them down into smaller, manageable steps. Let's say your goal is to lose 50 pounds in the next six months. Instead of focusing on the end goal, break it down into smaller goals, such as losing two to three pounds per week. This not only makes the goal seem more achievable, but it also allows you to track your progress and make any necessary adjustments along the way. Another important aspect of setting achievable goals is to make sure they are aligned with your values and priorities. Your goals should be in line with your core beliefs and what truly matters to you. If your goals are not aligned with your values, you may find it difficult to stay motivated and committed to achieving them. Take some time to reflect on your values and make sure your goals are in alignment with them. Now, I understand that setting specific and achievable goals may seem like a simple concept, but it is often overlooked. Many people go through life without a clear direction, and as a result, they end up feeling unfulfilled and dissatisfied. But I am here to tell you that by setting specific and achievable goals, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. However, setting goals is just the first step. To truly achieve your goals easily, you must also have a plan in place. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So once you have set your specific and achievable goals, it's time to create a plan of action. This plan should include the steps you need to take, the resources you will need, and a timeline for achieving your goals. Having a plan in place will not only keep you organized, but it will also give you a sense of direction and purpose. But even with a clear plan and achievable goals, there will be obstacles and challenges along the way. That's just a part of life. However, it's important to remember that setbacks and failures are not the end of the road. They are detours that can teach us valuable lessons and make us stronger. Don't let setbacks discourage you or make you give up on your goals. Instead, use them as fuel to keep pushing forward. In addition to having a plan, it's also crucial to have a positive mindset. Our thoughts and beliefs have a powerful impact on our actions and ultimately our results. If you constantly doubt yourself and your abilities, you will struggle to achieve your goals. But if you believe in yourself and your potential, you will have the motivation and determination to overcome any obstacles that come your way. Finally, I want to leave you with this thought. The journey to achieving your goals will not always be easy. There will be moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty. But remember, the most rewarding things in life are often the ones that require hard work and perseverance. So do not be afraid to dream big, set specific and achievable goals, and take action towards achieving them. With determination, a positive mindset, and a clear plan, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Remember to be specific, make sure your goals are aligned with your values, have a plan in place, and maintain a positive mindset. With these principles in mind, I have no doubt that you will achieve all your goals and live a life of success and fulfillment. Thank you. Are you someone who struggles with negative thoughts, self-doubt, or a lack of focus? Do you feel like your mind is holding you back from achieving your goals and living the life you desire? If so, you are not alone. In today's message, we will discuss how to take control of your mind and use it as a powerful tool to create the life you want. It's no secret that our thoughts shape our reality. What we think, we become. And if we want to achieve success, 
we must first learn to control our thoughts and direct them towards our goals. It's not an easy task, but with the right mindset and tools, it is possible. So if you're ready to take charge of your mind and unleash your full potential, then this message is for you. By the end of this message, you will have a better understanding of how your mind works and practical strategies to reprogram it for success. So let's dive in and start our journey towards a more successful and fulfilling life. Starting with number five. Control your mind for success by practicing mindfulness. Now you may be wondering, what exactly is mindfulness? Mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and aware in the present moment. It's about paying attention to your thoughts, feelings, and surroundings without judgment. Our minds are like gardens. If we do not tend to them, weeds will grow and take over. Just like in a garden, we must pull out the weeds and plant seeds of positivity and growth in our minds. This is where mindfulness comes in. It allows us to be aware of our thoughts and emotions and to consciously choose which ones we want to nurture and which ones we want to let go of. Mindfulness is crucial for achieving success in all areas of your life. It allows you to have a clear and focused mindset, which is essential for making the right decisions and taking the necessary actions to reach your goals. When you practice mindfulness, you become more aware of your thoughts and emotions, and you can recognize when they are hindering your progress. With mindfulness, you can learn to let go of negative thoughts and replace them with positive ones that support your success. But mindfulness is not just about controlling your thoughts. It's also about being present in the moment and fully experiencing life. Practicing mindfulness can help you manage stress and anxiety, which are common roadblocks on the path to success. By being present and aware, you can recognize when you are feeling overwhelmed and take the necessary steps to calm your mind and refocus your energy on your goals. Incorporating mindfulness into your daily life is simple. It can be done anywhere and at any time. It can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths and being fully present in the moment. Or it can involve activities such as meditation, yoga, or going for a walk in nature. The key is to make mindfulness a daily habit, just like exercising your body. By practicing mindfulness, you can control your mind for success and create the life you desire. Moving on to number four, control your mind for success by developing a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through hard work, dedication, and perseverance. It's the understanding that our potential is not fixed, and we have the power to improve and grow. Many people have a fixed mindset, which means they believe that their abilities and intelligence are set in stone. They think that they are either born with certain talents or not, and there is nothing they can do to change that. But with a growth mindset, we can break through those limitations and reach new heights. To develop a growth mindset, we must first understand that our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality. If we constantly tell ourselves that we are not capable or that we will never succeed, then that is exactly what will happen. Our minds are powerful, and they will believe whatever we tell them. So it's crucial to be mindful of our thoughts and replace any negative or limiting beliefs with positive and empowering ones. Embracing challenges and setbacks is also essential for developing a growth mindset. Instead of avoiding challenges because we fear failure, we should see them as opportunities to learn and grow. By focusing on the process rather than the outcome, we become more resilient and better equipped to handle obstacles that come our way. Surrounding ourselves with positivity is another key aspect of developing a growth mindset. Our environment plays a significant role in shaping our mindset, so it's crucial to surround ourselves with positive and supportive people who believe in our potential. By exposing ourselves to inspiring and motivational content, we can train our minds to think positively and stay motivated towards our goals. Developing a growth mindset is not a one-time thing. It's a continuous process that requires constant effort and self-reflection. But the rewards are immense. With a growth mindset, we can achieve things we never thought possible and live a life filled with purpose and fulfillment. Moving on to number three. Control your mind for success by surrounding yourself with positive influences. Positive influences are the people, places, and things that have a positive impact on your life. They are the ones who inspire, motivate, and push you to become the best version of yourself. Success is not a solo journey. It requires a strong support system, and that support system starts with the influences in your life. So it's crucial to surround yourself with people who have a positive mindset, who are ambitious and driven, and who believe in your potential. It's not just about the people in your life. It's also about the places you go, and the things you expose yourself to. 
Our minds absorb everything they come in contact with, so it's essential to be intentional about the influences we allow in our lives. Avoiding negative influences is important, but it's also about actively seeking out positive ones. Joining mastermind groups, attending seminars and conferences, or reading books by successful individuals are all ways to surround yourself with positive influences. Success leaves clues, and by surrounding yourself with positive influences, you are surrounding yourself with the clues to success. A personal story. When I first started my journey toward success, I was surrounded by negative influences. I had friends who doubted my abilities and a job that drained me of my energy and passion. But I made a conscious decision to seek out positive influences. I attended seminars, read books, and surrounded myself with like-minded individuals who believed in me and my dreams. And let me tell you, it made all the difference. I was able to control my mind and stay focused on my goals, despite the challenges and setbacks. And as a result, I was able to achieve the success I had always dreamed of. Moving on to number two. Control your mind for success by practicing positive self-talk. Our minds are like gardens. Whatever we plant in them will grow. Positive self-talk is the act of consciously choosing to speak to ourselves in a positive and empowering manner. It's the inner dialogue that we have with ourselves, and it has a profound impact on our mindset and ultimately our success. How many times have you heard that little voice in your head telling you that you can't do something? How many times have you allowed that voice to hold you back from taking action or pursuing your dreams? Positive self-talk is about replacing negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Instead of saying, I can't do this, try saying, I am capable of figuring this out. Instead of saying, I am not good enough, say, I am constantly growing and improving. These small shifts in our language can make a world of difference in our mindset. Positive self-talk is not just about the words we say to ourselves. It's also about the words we say to others. Our words have the power to build people up or tear them down. By choosing to speak positively to others, we not only uplift them, but we also reinforce positive thoughts in our own minds. And finally, number one, control your mind for success by setting clear goals. Without clear goals, our minds are like ships without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the sea of life. Setting clear goals gives our minds a target to aim for, a direction, and a purpose. When our minds have a purpose, they become powerful tools that can help us achieve anything we desire. But setting clear goals is not just about writing them down and forgetting about them. It's about creating a plan of action and consistently working towards them. A simple yet powerful technique for setting clear goals is to write them down. Be specific and detailed. Create a plan of action. Break down your goals into smaller achievable tasks. Visualize your goals and take action. Remember, it's not about achieving your goals overnight. It's about taking small, consistent steps towards them every day. In the journey toward success, there will be setbacks and failures, but every successful person has failed at some point in their life. The difference is that they never gave up. They kept setting clear goals and working towards them, even in the face of failure. So don't let failure stop you from achieving your goals. Let it be a lesson and a stepping stone towards your success. Start setting clear goals today and watch as your life transforms in ways you never thought possible. Your mind is a powerful tool, and with clear goals, you can achieve anything you desire. Thank you. I want to share with you five powerful ways to crush your goals and achieve the success you desire. Are you a person who struggles with setting and achieving your goals? Do you often feel like you're stuck in a cycle of disappointment and frustration when it comes to reaching your dreams? Well, you are not alone. In fact, many people face this same struggle every single day. But here's the good news. In today's message, I'm going to share with you the key principles that have helped me and countless others turn things around and achieve massive success. So, if you're ready to take control of your life and start making your dreams a reality, then I invite you to stay tuned and listen closely to these five ways to crush your goals. By the end of this video, you will have the tools and motivation to break free from your limitations and create the life you truly deserve. So, let's dive in and get started on this journey towards achieving your goals. Starting with number five which is to crush your goals by continuously educating and improving yourself. You see, education is not just confined to the walls of a classroom or the pages of a textbook. It is a lifelong process that requires dedication and a thirst for knowledge. As we embark on this journey of crushing our goals, we must understand that it is not a one-time event. It is a continuous process that requires us to constantly educate and improve ourselves. So, 
Why is continuous education and improvement so important? Well, let me tell you, my friends, it is the foundation of personal growth and success. Without it, we become stagnant and complacent, and our goals remain out of reach. But with it, we become unstoppable, and our goals become achievable. Continuous education and improvement allow us to expand our knowledge, skills, and abilities. It opens doors to new opportunities and helps us develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. It is the key to unlocking our full potential and unleashing our greatness. Now I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have the time or resources to continuously educate myself. Well, my friends, let me remind you that education does not have to be confined to a classroom. It can be as simple as reading a book, attending a seminar, or even listening to a podcast. The key is to make a commitment to learn something new every day. Continuous education also requires us to step out of our comfort zones and embrace new challenges. It may be scary at first, but trust me, the rewards are worth it. When we push ourselves to learn and grow, we become more resilient and adaptable. We are better equipped to handle any obstacles that may come our way on the path to achieving our goals. But education alone is not enough. We must also strive for continuous improvement. It is not enough to just acquire knowledge. We must also apply it and constantly work on becoming better versions of ourselves. As the saying goes, knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is true power. Continuous improvement requires us to be honest with ourselves and identify areas where we can grow and develop. It may be improving our time management skills, communication skills, or even our mindset. Whatever it may be, we must be willing to put in the work and make the necessary changes to become the best versions of ourselves. Now, my friends, I want to share with you a crucial aspect of continuous education and improvement. It is the power of learning from others. We must surround ourselves with people who inspire us, challenge us, and push us to be better. Seek out mentors, coaches, and like-minded individuals who can guide and support you on your journey of achieving your goals. I cannot stress enough the importance of surrounding yourself with the right people. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So choose wisely and make sure those five people are lifting you up and not holding you back. In addition to learning from others, we must also be open to feedback and criticism. It may not always be easy to hear, but it is necessary for growth. Constructive criticism allows us to identify areas where we can improve and become better versions of ourselves. Embrace it, my friends, and use it as a tool for continuous improvement. Which leads us to number four, which is to crush your goals by surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals. Now, what do I mean by like-minded individuals? I'm not talking about people who agree with you all the time or have the same opinions as you. No, I'm talking about people who share the same drive, the same ambition, and the same hunger for success as you do. You see, the people we surround ourselves with have a significant impact on our lives. They can either lift us up or bring us down. That's why it's crucial to choose our inner circle wisely. So, if you want to crush your goals, you need to surround yourself with individuals who are also striving for success. Now, you might be thinking, but Jim, how do I find these like-minded individuals? Well, let me tell you, they are all around you. You just have to look for them. Attend networking events, join mastermind groups, or even reach out to people who inspire you. The key is to put yourself out there and connect with people who are on the same journey as you. But it's not just about finding like-minded individuals. It's also about being a like-minded individual. You see, in order to attract success, you must first become successful in your mindset. You must have the same hunger, the same drive, and the same determination as the people you want to surround yourself with. So, how do you become a like-minded individual? It starts with your thoughts. Your thoughts have the power to shape your reality. If you constantly think negative thoughts, you will attract negative people and negative outcomes. But if you have a positive mindset, you will attract positive people and positive outcomes. Next, you must have a clear vision of your goals. You can't expect to attract like-minded individuals if you don't know what you want to achieve. Your vision acts as a magnet, drawing in the right people who can help you achieve your goals. But it's not just about attracting people who can help you. It's also about surrounding yourself with people who challenge you and push you to be better. As the saying goes, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. You need to be surrounded by individuals who inspire you to grow 
and become the best version of yourself. Another crucial aspect of surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals is accountability. When you have a support system of people who are also working towards their goals, it becomes easier to hold yourself accountable. You can share your progress, setbacks and ideas with them, and they can offer valuable feedback and keep you on track. But let me warn you, surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals does not mean surrounding yourself with yes-men. You need people who will challenge you, give you constructive criticism, and hold you accountable. It's easy to surround ourselves with people who tell us what we want to hear, but it takes courage to be around people who tell us what we need to hear. Finally, surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals means building a community of support and collaboration. Success is not a competition. It's a journey that we can all embark on together. When you surround yourself with people who are also striving for success, you create a network of support, knowledge, and resources. You can share ideas, collaborate on projects, and lift each other up when times get tough. Which leads us to number three, which is to crush your goals by staying disciplined and consistent. This may not sound like the most exciting or glamorous advice, but I can guarantee you that it is the most crucial. You see, anyone can set goals, but it takes a disciplined and consistent individual to actually achieve them. So, what does it mean to be disciplined and consistent? Discipline is the ability to control your thoughts, actions, and emotions in order to stay focused on your goals. It means saying no to distractions and temptations that may hinder your progress. And consistency is the act of showing up every day and putting in the work, even when you don't feel like it. Let me give you an example of the power of discipline and consistency. Imagine two individuals who have the same goal of losing 20 pounds. One of them is disciplined and consistent, while the other is not. The disciplined individual follows a strict diet and exercise routine every day, even when they don't feel like it. They say no to unhealthy food and make sure to get their daily workout in. On the other hand, the inconsistent individual follows the same routine for a few days, but then gives in to their cravings and skips workouts. Who do you think will achieve their goal of losing 20 pounds? It's obvious. The disciplined and consistent individual will see results, while the inconsistent one will continue to struggle. Now let's talk about how you can develop discipline and consistency in your life. The first step is to have a clear vision and purpose for your goals. When you have a strong reason why you want to achieve something, it becomes easier to stay disciplined and consistent. So, take some time to reflect on your goals and why they are important to you. The second step is to create a plan and stick to it. This means breaking down your goals into smaller manageable tasks and creating a schedule to follow. This will help you stay on track and make progress towards your goals every day. And remember, discipline is also about saying no to things that don't align with your goals. So be selective in how you spend your time and energy. The third step is to hold yourself accountable. Find an accountability partner, or join a group of like-minded individuals who can support and motivate you. Share your goals with them and ask for their help in holding you accountable. This will not only keep you on track, but also provide you with a support system when you face challenges. Another important aspect of staying disciplined and consistent is to have a positive mindset. Your thoughts and beliefs have a significant impact on your actions and results. So make sure to cultivate a positive and optimistic attitude towards your goals. Believe in yourself and your abilities, and don't let self-doubt or fear hold you back. Lastly, don't be afraid to fail. Success is not a straight line and there will be setbacks and challenges along the way. But it's how you respond to these failures that will determine your success. Use them as learning opportunities and keep moving forward with even more determination and discipline. Which leads us to number two, which is to crush your goals by creating a plan. You see, having a goal without a plan is like having a destination without a map. You may know where you want to go, but without a plan, you will most likely get lost along the way. And let me tell you, Getting lost on your journey towards your goals is not only frustrating, but it can also be disheartening. That's why it is essential to create a plan to guide you towards your goals. Now some of you may be thinking, but Jim, creating a plan takes time and effort. Why can't I just wing it and see what happens? Well my friends, let me ask you this. Would you start a business without a business plan? Would you build a house without a blueprint? Of course not. Just like any successful endeavor. Achieving your goals requires a well-thought-out plan. So, how do you create a plan that will help you crush your goals? The first step is to be crystal clear about what you want to achieve. 
you must have a specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goal. For example, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, be specific and say, I want to lose 20 pounds in 6 months by exercising 4 times a week and following a healthy diet. See the difference? The more specific you are, the easier it will be to create a plan that will lead you to success. The next step is to break down your goal into smaller, actionable steps. This will make your goal less overwhelming and more manageable. Going back to our weight loss example, you can break it down into smaller steps such as joining a gym, hiring a personal trainer, meal planning, and scheduling your workouts. By breaking down your goal, you will have a clear roadmap of what needs to be done to achieve it. Now here's a crucial part of creating a plan that many people overlook. Setting deadlines. Without a deadline, your goal will remain a dream, and your plan will be nothing but a piece of paper. So make sure to set realistic deadlines for each step of your plan, and most importantly, hold yourself accountable to these deadlines. Another essential aspect of creating a plan is to anticipate obstacles and have a contingency plan in place. Let's face it, life is unpredictable, and things may not always go as planned. But that's okay. What matters is how you handle these obstacles. So take some time to think about potential roadblocks that may hinder your progress and come up with solutions to overcome them. Now, I want to share with you a powerful tool that will help you stay on track towards your goals. Visualization. Close your eyes for a moment and imagine yourself achieving your goal. How does it feel? What do you see? Visualization is a powerful technique that can help you stay motivated and focused on your goal. So make sure to visualize yourself achieving your goal every day. It will keep you motivated and remind you of why you started this journey in the first place. Lastly, remember that your plan is not set in stone. It is essential to review and adjust your plan regularly. As you progress towards your goal, you may realize that some steps need to be tweaked or that you need to add new steps. That's perfectly okay. The key is to be flexible and adapt as needed to ensure that your plan continues to lead you towards your goal. Which leads us to number one, which is to crush your goals by setting specific and achievable goals. You see, setting goals is not just about having a vague idea of what you want to achieve. It is about creating a clear and detailed roadmap that will guide you towards your desired destination. Let me ask you, have you ever been on a road trip without a map or GPS? How did that turn out for you? Most likely you ended up lost, frustrated, and wasting precious time and resources. The same principle applies to our goals. Without a clear direction and plan, we are bound to get lost and lose sight of our objectives. So, the first step to crushing your goals is to set specific goals. This means being clear and precise about what you want to achieve. It is not enough to say, I want to be successful, or, I want to lose weight. These are vague statements that do not provide a clear direction. Instead, you need to define your goals in precise terms. For example, I want to increase my sales by 50% in the next quarter, or, I want to lose 20 pounds in the next 6 months. By setting specific goals, you are giving yourself a target to aim for. It is like aiming at a bullseye instead of shooting in the dark. This focus and clarity will help you stay motivated and on track towards your goals. But setting specific goals is not enough. You also need to make sure that they are achievable. This means setting realistic goals that you can actually attain. Now I am not saying that you should limit yourself or set small goals, but you need to be honest with yourself and set goals that are within your reach. Setting unrealistic goals will only lead to disappointment and discouragement. It is like trying to run a marathon without any prior training. You will most likely fail, and that will only demotivate you from trying again. On the other hand, setting achievable goals will give you a sense of accomplishment and keep you motivated to push further. Now some of you may be thinking, but Jim, what about those big audacious goals that seem impossible? Well let me tell you, those are the goals that will truly push you to your limits and help you reach your full potential. But the key is to break them down into smaller achievable goals. This will not only make them less daunting but also give you a roadmap to follow. Another crucial aspect of setting achievable goals is to make them measurable. This means setting specific metrics to track your progress. For example, if your goal is to increase your sales by 50%, you need to track your sales on a regular basis to see if you are on track. This will help you make necessary adjustments and stay focused on your goal. In addition to being specific, achievable, and measurable, your goals should also be time-bound. This means setting a deadline for when you want to achieve your goals. Without a time frame, your goals will lack urgency, and you may end up procrastinating. 
As the saying goes, a goal without a deadline is just a dream. So make sure to set a realistic timeline for your goals. This will not only keep you focused, but also give you a sense of urgency to take action. Now, I want to share with you a powerful technique that will help you achieve your goals faster and more effectively. The SMART technique. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. By following this framework, you can ensure that your goals are well-defined and have a higher chance of success. But setting specific and achievable goals is just the first step. The real work begins when you start taking action towards your goals. Remember, a goal without action is just a wish. So it is essential to have a plan and take consistent action towards your goals. And let me tell you, the journey towards your goals will not always be smooth sailing. There will be obstacles and challenges along the way. But it is during these tough times that your determination and perseverance will be tested. This is where your strong and specific goals will come in handy. They will serve as a compass, guiding you towards your destination, no matter how rough the road may be. Remember to be clear and precise about what you want to achieve. Make sure your goals are realistic and measurable, and set a deadline to create a sense of urgency. And most importantly, take consistent action towards your goals and never give up, no matter how challenging the journey may be. I leave you with this quote by Zig Ziglar. The goal properly set is halfway reached. So go out there and set your goals, and I have no doubt that with determination, hard work, and a specific plan, you will crush your goals and achieve greatness. Thank you. I'm thrilled to share this message with you today. In this fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the daily grind and lose sight of our goals and dreams. We all have aspirations and desires, but sometimes we struggle to find the motivation and drive to achieve them. But fear not, because in today's message, I am going to share with you five ways to challenge yourself and achieve your goals easily. You see, my friends, you are not alone in this struggle. We all face challenges and obstacles in our lives that can make it difficult to stay on track and reach our goals. But the good news is, by listening to this message, you can turn things around and start making progress towards your dreams. I have spent decades studying and teaching the principles of success, and I have seen firsthand how these five strategies can transform lives and help people achieve their goals with ease. So get ready to take some notes and get ready to challenge yourself in new and exciting ways. Remember, my friends, you have the power to create the life you desire. And by implementing these five strategies, you can make it happen. So let's dive in and discover how you can challenge yourself and achieve your goals easily. Let's start with number five. Now we all know that procrastination is the enemy of progress. It is the thief of time and the killer of dreams. We have all been guilty of procrastination at some point in our lives. We have all put off important tasks and projects only to regret it later when we are faced with the consequences. But why do we procrastinate? Is it because we are lazy or lack motivation? No, my friends. Procrastination is often a result of fear and self-doubt. We fear failure, we fear rejection, and we doubt our abilities to succeed. And so, we delay taking action. We make excuses, and we convince ourselves that we will do it later. But let me tell you this later never comes. Procrastination is a vicious cycle that keeps us stuck in the same place while time passes us by. And before we know it, another year has gone by, and we are no closer to our goals than we were before. So what is the solution? How can we break free from the grip of procrastination and move towards our goals? The answer, my friends, is to find a support system. Yes, you've heard me right. A support system is the key to overcoming procrastination and achieving success. Now you may be wondering, what exactly is a support system? Well, it is a group of people who believe in you, who motivate you, and who hold you accountable for your actions. Having a support system is crucial because it provides us with the encouragement and motivation we need to take action. When we have people who believe in us and our abilities, it gives us the confidence to push through our fears and doubts and take the necessary steps towards our goals. But who should be a part of your support system? It could be your family, your friends, your mentors, or even a coach. The important thing is that these are people who genuinely care about your success and are willing to support you in your journey. Now let me share with you three ways in which a support system can help you overcome procrastination and reach your goals. Firstly, a support system provides accountability. When we have someone to answer to, we are more likely to stay on track and follow through on our commitments. Your support system can hold you accountable for your actions and keep you focused on your goals. 
They can also provide you with constructive feedback and help you stay on the right path. Secondly, a support system offers motivation and encouragement. We all have days when we feel demotivated and want to give up. But when we have people who believe in us and our goals, they can give us the push we need to keep going. They can remind us of our why and help us stay committed to our goals. Lastly, a support system provides a sense of community. When we surround ourselves with like-minded individuals who are also striving towards their goals, it creates a sense of camaraderie. We can learn from each other, share our struggles and successes, and find inspiration in each other's journeys. Now you may be thinking, that all sounds great Jim, but how do I find a support system? Well my friends, it starts with being intentional. You need to actively seek out people who can be a part of your support system. It could be by joining a mastermind group, attending networking events, or even reaching out to people you admire and asking for their guidance. Remember, your support system does not have to be large. Quality is more important than quantity. It is better to have a few genuine and supportive individuals than a large group of people who do not truly care about your success. And let me tell you this, my friends. Once you have found your support system, do not be afraid to lean on them when you need it. We all need help and support at times, and there is no shame in asking for it. Now to the fourth way to overcome procrastination and reach your goals, and that is to create a plan and stick to it. You see, we all have dreams and aspirations, but very few of us actually take the time to sit down and create a plan to achieve them. We get caught up in the daily grind, the routine of life, and we forget that our dreams require action. They require a plan. I know what some of you may be thinking. But Jim, I don't have time to create a plan. I'm too busy with work, with family, with other responsibilities. And to that, I say nonsense. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, and it's up to us how we use them. The difference between successful people and unsuccessful people is how they utilize their time. So let me ask you this. How much time do you spend scrolling through social media, binge watching TV shows, or just mindlessly surfing the internet? And how much time do you spend on planning and working towards your goals? If your answer is not in favor of the latter, then it's time to make a change. Creating a plan is not just about setting goals and deadlines. It's about breaking down those big, intimidating goals into smaller, manageable tasks. It's about creating a roadmap that will guide you towards your dreams. And most importantly, it's about taking action. A plan is useless without action. It's like having a map, but not taking the journey. You may know where you want to go, but unless you take that first step, you will never reach your destination. Now I know that creating a plan can be overwhelming. You may not know where to start or how to go about it. But let me share with you a simple yet effective method that I have used throughout my life. The five P's. The first P stands for purpose. You need to have a clear purpose for your goals. Why do you want to achieve them? What will it mean for you in your life? When you have a strong purpose, it will give you the motivation and drive to create a plan and stick to it. The second P is prioritize. You need to prioritize your goals and tasks. Not everything needs to be done at once. Identify what is most important and focus on that first. This will help you avoid feeling overwhelmed and allow you to make progress towards your goals. The third P is plan. This is where you break down your goals into smaller actionable tasks. Write down what you need to do, when you need to do it, and how you will do it. This will give you a clear roadmap to follow and keep you on track. The fourth P is persistence. Creating a plan is not a one-time thing. You need to constantly review and adjust it as you go along. And most importantly, you need to be persistent in taking action towards your goals. Don't let setbacks or failures discourage you. Keep moving forward and never give up. And finally, the fifth P is patience. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your goals be achieved overnight. It takes time and effort to reach your dreams. So be patient with yourself and trust the process. As long as you stick to your plan and keep taking action, you will eventually get there. Creating a plan is not enough. You need to stick to it. And this is where discipline comes in. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. It's what separates the dreamers from the achievers. You need to have discipline in your daily habits and routines. Wake up early, exercise, read, and work on your goals. Don't let distractions or excuses get in the way. Remember, if you want something badly enough, you will find a way. If not, you will find an excuse. And when you feel like giving up, remind yourself of your purpose, 
Your why. Remember why you started and keep pushing forward. And if you ever feel lost or off track, go back to your plan. It will guide you and keep you focused. Now to the third way to overcome procrastination and reach your goals. This may seem like a simple concept, but it is one that many struggle with. So without further ado, let's dive into the topic of stepping out of your comfort zone. We all have a comfort zone, a place where we feel safe and secure. It's where we are familiar with our surroundings, where we know what to expect, and where we feel in control. But here's the thing, my friends. Growth and success do not happen within our comfort zone. They happen when we step out of it. Think about it. When was the last time you achieved something great while staying within your comfort zone? I bet it's hard to come up with an answer. That's because real growth and progress happen when we challenge ourselves, when we take risks, and when we step out of our comfort zone. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Jim, stepping out of my comfort zone is scary. What if I fail? What if I make a fool of myself? Trust me. I understand those fears. But let me ask you this. What's scarier, taking a chance and potentially failing, or living a life of mediocrity, always wondering what if? You see, my friends, the biggest regret of the dying is not the things they did, but the things they didn't do. The risks they didn't take, the opportunities they didn't seize, and the comfort zones they didn't step out of. Don't let that be you. Don't let fear hold you back from reaching your full potential. So how do we step out of our comfort zone? How do we overcome the fear and resistance that holds us back? Well, the first step is to identify what is keeping you in your comfort zone. Is it fear of failure? Fear of judgment? Or maybe it's just the fear of the unknown? Whatever it may be, acknowledge it, and then make a conscious decision to move past it. The second step is to start small. Stepping out of your comfort zone doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It can be as simple as trying a new hobby, taking a different route to work, or striking up a conversation with a stranger. These small steps will help build your confidence and make it easier to take bigger risks in the future. The third step is to surround yourself with people who inspire and challenge you. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you want to grow and succeed, you need to surround yourself with people who have similar goals and who will push you to be your best self. The fourth step is to embrace discomfort. Yes, stepping out of your comfort zone is uncomfortable, but that's where growth happens. Embrace the discomfort and remind yourself that it is temporary and necessary for your personal development. The fifth and final step is to have a growth mindset. Instead of seeing challenges and failures as setbacks, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Embrace it, learn from it, and keep moving forward. Now, I want to share with you a personal story of how stepping out of my comfort zone changed my life. As many of you know, I started my career as a stock clerk in a small store. I was comfortable in my job, but I knew I wanted more. So I took a risk and applied for a sales position at the same company. I was terrified of rejection, but I pushed through the fear and got the job. From there, I continued to step out of my comfort zone, taking on new challenges and opportunities. And you know what happened? I became one of the top salespeople in the company, and eventually, I left to start my own business. If I had stayed in my comfort zone, I would have never achieved the success and fulfillment that I have today. Now let's talk about the second step. Breaking down your goals into smaller tasks. Yes, you heard it right. The key to overcoming procrastination and reaching your goals is to break them down into smaller manageable tasks. Now, you may be wondering how something so simple can be the solution to such a complex problem. Well, let me explain. We all have big dreams and aspirations, and there is nothing wrong with that. In fact, it is essential to have big goals because they give us direction and motivation in life. However, the problem arises when we try to tackle these big goals all at once. We get overwhelmed, and we end up procrastinating. We convince ourselves that we will start working on our goals tomorrow, next week, or next month. But the truth is, tomorrow never comes, and before we know it, years have passed, and we are still stuck in the same place, with the same unfulfilled dreams. But what if I told you that by breaking down your goals into smaller tasks, you can overcome procrastination and start making progress towards your dreams? When we break down our goals, we are essentially creating a roadmap for ourselves. We are dividing our big, overwhelming goals into smaller, achievable tasks, 
that we can work on one at a time. Let me give you an example. Let's say your goal is to start a successful business. Now that is a big goal, and it can be intimidating. But if you break it down into smaller tasks, such as researching your target market, creating a business plan, and finding a suitable location, suddenly your goal becomes more manageable. You can focus on one task at a time, and before you know it, you have made significant progress towards your ultimate goal. Breaking down your goals into smaller tasks also helps in overcoming the fear of failure. Many of us procrastinate because we are afraid of failing. We fear that we will not be able to achieve our big goals, and so we put off working on them. But when we break them down into smaller tasks, we are essentially creating mini goals for ourselves. And when we achieve these mini goals, we gain confidence and momentum, which drives us towards our ultimate goal. Another benefit of breaking down your goals is that it helps in time management. We all have busy lives, and it can be challenging to find the time to work on our goals. But when we have smaller tasks, it becomes easier to find pockets of time throughout the day to work on them. It could be as simple as spending 30 minutes every day researching your target market or working on your business plan. These small pockets of time may not seem like much, but they add up and help us make progress towards our goals. Now some of you may be thinking, but how do we know which tasks to focus on? That is an excellent question, and the answer is simple. Prioritize. When you have a big goal, it is essential to prioritize the tasks that will have the most significant impact. Ask yourself, which tasks will bring me closer to my goal? Which tasks are essential, and which ones can wait? By prioritizing your tasks, you can focus on the most critical ones and make progress towards your goal. But breaking down your goals into smaller tasks is not enough. You also need to have a plan in place. A goal without a plan is just a wish. So once you have broken down your goals, create a plan of action. Set deadlines for each task, and hold yourself accountable. And remember, it is okay to adjust your plan as you go along. Life is unpredictable, and things may not always go according to plan. But as long as you have a plan in place, you can make adjustments and keep moving forward. I hope these insights help you overcome procrastination and reach your goals. Remember, you have the power to create the life you desire, so go out there and make it happen. Thank you.